Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be part two of my eyeshadow palette declutter, and this is gonna be my more bigger and high-end palettes. I'm gonna start with Makeup Revolution and Urban Decay, and these are not all of the brand I have in my collection. It's just these are the ones I could find right off the bat. There's so many over here. This is probably gonna be a lot longer than the other video I just did, so grab a snack and get ready. I'm gonna start with Makeup Revolution. This palette is the chilled palette and i actually just got this about a week ago not even maybe i don't even remember honestly and the first shades i use the shades i actually use are plant and burn and they were actually very good i was very surprised how good this palette was so i'm definitely going to keep this uh ignore this part in the video right here this is a dresser i, I my alex shore i'm recording on and this is my phone so it's not gonna be the best quality but oh god ignore me uh yeah so i'm gonna keep this palette for sure See where I'm gonna put all this crap. I have so much stuff anyway. My next palette I actually just got like two days ago. This is the Marvelous Mattes. Look how pretty this is. I'm very excited to try this. I will I don't really have that many colorful palettes. This is like my fourth one that I have. So, you know, it's exciting to get some colorful palettes in my collection. My next one is the Reload or the Division palette. I think I've used this to try it out with the Subculture palette and then another palette I have that's a dupe. If I can find it, it's actually, I think it's, no, I can't find it. I'll show y'all later. I'll keep this around so I can show y'all how many of these palettes I have. Put it over there. <clears throat> I'm still sick, so I'm going to be talking very gross again. This is the Neutrals 2, and I have used this. I've used this shade, this shade, and these two right here. And this is really pretty. I actually really like this palette. Oh, jeez. I actually really, really like this, but I don't know if I want to keep this. Just because I have so many warm colors in my palette, or in my collection, I'm going to put this to the side in the maybe pile and we'll figure it out i do want to keep the next one i'm about to show you guys which is weird though because it is it is warm also really warm tones this is the neutrals three i want to keep this one because it's more let me see the more like grungier neutrals or the more grungier like dark warm tone compared to this one Let's see i'd rather keep this one than this one so this one can go for sure actually and i'm going to keep the neutrals three I have the Chocolate Vice palette. I have not used this yet. Let me show y'all a better picture. I have not used this yet. It's it's pretty. I like this, like these six shades right here, and that's about it. I'm gonna declutter this one too. I have the uh, Flawless too. I think I got these at TJ Maxx, most of these. Um, this is not good color story to me i don't really like this i like these two rows and that's about it and i'm not going to keep a palette for two rows i have the affirmation i don't know how to say that word affirmation for me i don't you know i don't know how to say it i'm not going to keep trying i am not going to keep this either i don't know why i bought these i think it was just the, the collector in me wants every single palette i see i love me i love eyeshadow palettes i have the midnight unicorn this is a halloween uh, palette. I have the box, but I took off all the pa I got rid of all the packaging. What am I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. I threw all my packagings over there. I still have all the boxes from some of these, especially the Halloween ones. And I'm gonna keep these because you can't get them anymore. They don't look very Halloween, which sucks because the packaging on these are really pretty. This is the Dark Rain. I love these little Halloween palettes. I don't really like this one as much as the other one because like I don't use like this shade and this shade, but I'm still gonna keep them because you can't get them. And then this is la this is this year's Halloween that just passed. This is so pretty. This is Under Your Spell. And I really, really like these. Like, I won't probably use them on their own, but they're so pretty. I wish I could show you. Like, they're so pretty. I swatched them all, as you can tell. I haven't used it, though. Oh, let me not drop my palettes today. I'm keeping that one. Now for Urban Decay. I have two of the Naked Smokies, and I can explain. One of them... I'm going to move my palettes and keep it over here. Oh, jeez. One of them was... Uh, given to me and the other one I bought on my own for last year Black Friday it was like $20 I'm gonna get rid of the one that's been used and that was get given to me which is this one as you can see the two shades <clears throat> high and 13 are used I'm gonna get rid of this one and keep my newer one that I have still have I've used this maybe once I think I tried to make a look out of it and I couldn't really get it to work for me but I want to keep trying so I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of the used one <clears throat> My next one is the Naked Urban Decay Cherry. This was given to me too, so when you see this, don't, don't don't be surprised how bad it looks. It's really, really bad. I was given this just for the packaging. I wanted to have it to complete my collection, but I'm gonna throw this away actually, because then I'm not gonna keep this, and look how bad it is. 
This looks like it was like thrown at somebody and broken to pieces. It looks terrible. I'm gonna just get rid of this. It's I'm gonna trash it. I have the Naked Heat, which isn't my favorite one. I want the Honey, and I want the new one, the first one, or the Naked Re... The newer one. I can't remember the name. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. The very first one that was replaced. You know, yeah. I'm going to keep this one because this is my type of color store. I really like this. I've used this about three or four times, and I liked every look I came out with. It does get a little too dark for me, like, in this area. I, I'm i very, like, I'm mixed. I'm, like, you know, I'm, but I'm very, like, pale, if that makes sense. Especially in the winter. So that it's, it gets too dark for me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do cargo. Hold on, let me get the ones I can see. Um, cargo, I have a lot of cargo palettes, as you can see. I get all of mine from TJ Maxx, from like Kohl's, everywhere. This is all that glitters. And I was gonna keep this because I'm a really big fan of like blues and green, like glittery shades. Like this is so pretty to me. And it kind of reminds me of the Too Faced one that I never got. I don't know why I want to keep this. I really like this penthouse shade. Like, look at that yellowy, like, peachy shade. I love that. I'm actually going to keep this one, I think. This might be the only one I keep because I'm not really into cargo. I've never really used it. I lied. I'm keeping two of them. I'll open that one, the one I'm keeping last. Uh, enjoy every moment. This is, this is pretty warm. It's a pretty warm palette, but I'm not, I'm not going to keep it. It's, I'm never going to use it. I have the, I got this for Christmas two or three years ago. This is the cargo. What am I saying? Of course it's cargo. This is the Emerald City eyeshadow palette. I really like this one because the greens, but I'm not going to keep this one either. I have the You Had Me at Aloha. This is so pretty. I lied. I'm going to keep three. This is really pretty. I love the purples and greens and yellows in here. I'm going to keep this one. I have the, uh, I think this is, yeah, Chill on the Six. This is another Christmassy palette. I'm going to get rid of, I really want to keep this one. One, because of that silver, the blizzard shade right there, because I love silvers, but I don't know if it's worth keeping. I just, yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, that, no, I'm actually going to get rid of that. And then I have this one, which is like blinding. This is the Summer in the City. I'm going to get rid of this one, too. There's a lot of purples and browns, as you can see in these palettes. And the other one I'm keeping is the Namaste in India. I got this at TJ Maxx for $7.99, and I didn't think I was going to like it. I didn't even open it when I got it. I just literally just bought it, because I was like... I have so many of these cargo palettes. I'm gonna buy this just to keep my like, collection going. And it's actually so pretty. Look at this color story. Like these greens and these maroons and golds. They're like my, this is so pretty. I've used it a couple times as you can see the little like dips in them. I'm gonna keep this one. Toss the package over there. And then next I'm gonna do my two MAC palettes. This is the Queen Supreme and the Shiny Pretty Things. This is from last Black Friday last year. It's a Christmas palette. I don't know. If, I don't like this one. Right here. I'm not sure about that. I got this at TJ Maxx for $24.99. This year's only $14.99. I saw that this year. I was like, oh my goodness. They're so much cheaper this year. This is, it's so pretty, but it doesn't work. Like, at all. I don't know if you can tell that it's not really working, but it's, okay, of course when I swatch it, it looks pretty. It looks pretty, but it doesn't work. I don't want to get rid of it because I really, really like MAC. And they're the only two. Well, I have another one, one but they're, it's little. These are like the only two MAC palettes I have that I can see myself using. And this one's really pretty. I like I like this. And I actually like the brush in here. It's really cool. It's like a flat brush, but it's 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 just cool to me. I really like it. And I love the packaging. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of Queen Supreme. Um, I'm gonna go to this palette now. I'm just gonna start picking random palettes now. This is the City Color Hypnotic palette. I got this from Hush, which is not a thing anymore. Uh, this is cute, but it doesn't really work well anymore because I got it when I first got into makeup. I use it a couple times with this like gold and blue shades, but I'm actually gonna get rid of this. This is another colorful palette I had. I forgot I had this. That's just how like old it is. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I have this Lorac and Zipped Desert Sunset palette, which is, I can't even open it. This is really cute to me. Uh, I haven't really used it that much, as you can tell. It's not really used that much. I don't know. I got it because like, the shades in here are super pretty, but I still haven't used it. That's why I don't know what to do. I, Cause this is like my color store. This is my thing. I love everything in here. I'm gonna hold on to this and like, I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. We'll go back to that later. Uh, I have four of these, I think. Three or four of these from Kohl's. I just don't know where the other two are. We'll get into those later, but these are my Academy of Color palettes. And I get these every time I go to Kohl's. I like to buy one of these. I got this last year for Black Friday and this one I've had for a while. But these these two are the ones I keep most likely. The other two I think I'm going to get rid of. I have no idea where they are though. So I might have already done them in the last one. I can't really remember what I've done because I've done so much. But this is this one. The What is this one? Look how gross this is. This is disgusting because it's sticky right there. This is the Cranberry palette. 
this one kind of like, it's really pretty because the color story but this straight right here quartz i think that's how you say it, i'm sure it is it's already hit hard pan and like i only use this palette like once and it already hit hard pan but besides that shade not working it's such a good palette and it was only ten dollars as you see and it's only ten it was really good so i'm gonna keep that one this one i don't know if i'm gonna keep or not because it is nudes and i don't really wear shades like this but i love these like this shade right here it's promise the shade is so pretty to me because like you can put that in the inner corner and just add one of these shades all over the lid that's why i really really like this palette so i think i am going to keep it and if i don't use it by the next declutter i'll get rid of that one these palettes are also going to be harder for me to get rid of because these are like my babies these are all my favorite palettes that were my drawers this is the shan xo palette by bh cosmetics the remix am i saying that name right i don't even know if i said that name right but this side is super this side's my favorite I love this avocado shade and the browns in here are really pretty. And then you flip it over and you got this side. This side was everyone's favorite and I was really surprised. Like, well, what I've heard, my friend likes the back of it. My friend likes this side better than the other one. I love the other side better than this one. I feel like it's because it's intimidating to me. I, I don't use shades. That, like, I don't use that pink. I don't use purples. So that's why I feel like I just can't get into this side. If it was just this side, though, I'd keep it. But it's so big. Like, it's not big, but it's pretty thick. I don't know what to do. This is going to go in the mini pile, too. I have the It's My Ray Ray by BH Cosmetics. I still have this tin plastic in here. That just shows you I never use it. Uh, I really like this shade, like this highlighting shade. Like, look how pretty that is. I really like that. But I've, I have, let me grab, actually, dupe. I have like the same. I have this, the Metal Crush by Kat Von D, and look at that. I literally have this. So and I just got that at TJ Maxx for $4.99. So I think that would be the only reason I'd want to keep this palette is for that, like, really pretty shade right there. And then, but the palette that was super pretty too. So I don't know what to do. Because I do like the palette a lot. And these are my It just gets a little too dark right here. Like I don't really use black. That's for my eyebrows. That's about it. So it gets pretty dark right here. Like I don't really like this. I just like this. So I don't know what to do. Because I'm not going to keep a palette just for these little shades that I have in every palette. But this shade is just like the highlighter shade. Like which confuses me. Like why do they have that in here? I don't know. I don't get it. I'm going to get rid of this. Just because these two are like the same. And it's a highlight and eyeshadow. And like I don't need that. And this Allison shade's pretty. But I have that in a lot of palettes. So this is going to go. I have a box for this too. Thrown over there again. I'm going to get rid of that one. Oh this is never going anywhere. This is my Kristen Leanne palette from Urban Decay. I was so excited that I got this. And little did I know that it was going to be limited. I knew it was going to be limited edition. But you know how they say that and they bring palettes back. So I thought it was going to come back and it still hasn't. So I'm really happy I have this. It's not going anywhere. I haven't even used the brush. Hence to why it's still in the packaging. I love the black for my eyebrows. I don't use black so that's for my eyebrows like I just said. And this is so pretty to me. I don't know why people don't like this. This is the Kaleidoscope palette. It's meant to, like Kaleidoscope. You know it's it's just pretty. Like I, I, I enjoy this. I understand it. So I'm keeping that. Oh not even halfway done you guys. This is my only Kat Von D palette, the fetish palette. And I, let me turn it aside, it's really big. I got this a year ago and I still have not used it. And it's not that I don't like it. It's just, let's just look at the color story first before I start talking about it. This color story is another thing I get confused about. Like, I don't know. It's so pretty and unique. And I love this gray. I love this silver. I love these two. I love this purple. It It's pretty. Like, it makes sense. It's just I don't know what to do with this. I'm not going to get rid of it because it was $65. And it's like my previous palette that I have. Like the, like the way she does her artwork to me is just so pretty. I'm going to keep this forever. Even if I never use it. Which, trust me guys. I'm going to use it. I promise I will use this. Especially because it speaks to me. Now that I'm looking at it again. I I, like I love it. I'm excited to have this in my collection. So I'm going to keep this for sure. And never get rid of that. I have two more BH Cosmetics palettes. Which... You won't believe it, they're the exact same. Um, I, you'll see why. This is my very first eyeshadow palette. My friend took me to Ulta and I bought this two years ago, November 2017. That's when I bought this palette. And as you can see, I loved the heck out of it. I will never get rid of this. I love everything about this. Now I use this shade. Since this shade's gone, I bet you can tell I've been using that shade now to do my eyes. Because I use this shade. I start off like with the most, like these two. I do these two in the on the eye and then I added this like in the inner corner just to give it like a really pretty like smoky look and it worked so i got another one at tj maxx for 17.99 and at the time i didn't think about the price but this palette was only 20 dollars. so the, why tj maxx made it so expensive i don't know it's the same palette i'm just showing you it's another one and i still have the sleeve for it because i don't plan on using this one until this one is completely gone so i'm gonna keep up these actually should i i don't know this is two years old when's the 24 months. I don't know what I should do because this is really old, but it still works. So why get rid of something that still works so good? And this shade is to 
die for. Like, I don't understand why nobody talks about this palette anymore. Look at that freaking shade. I don't understand why nobody talks about this palette. It is so good. I'm keeping these. <laughs> I made up my mind. I'm keeping them. They're going nowhere. I have this Maybelline. This is like my only Maybelline palette. Like this. And... I don't know. I've never used it, but I don't want to get rid of it because it's not bad. Like, it's not a bad palette. That's not the problem. It's just, I don't know what to do with this. I want to keep this, but then again, I don't. Because, like, the shades that pull me in the most are this, is the shade and this shade. And I have that in every single palette. So, I am, I am going to declutter this. I mean, oh my, oh, that's going. I have this Tarte palette, which is just, like, a empty Z palette of mine. I bought it. To, it had shadows in it, but I put it in a different palette. So I'm going to keep this for my singles. And if I don't get singles anytime soon, I'm just going to get rid of this. Because it takes up a lot of space because the way it's made. And I don't even need it. And then next, I'm going to do these two Tarte palettes. Uh, this is the Re Pro Remix that just came out. Excuse the glare on this. Hold on. There we go. The Tarte Pro Remix that just came out and the Tarte the Tardis Pro, the regular one. Um... This, let me show you this one first. These don't fit very well together. This is the tar like the original Tardis Pro. And I like this, but I, as you can see, I've only used, uh, you can't probably even tell I've used it, but I've only used like this cranberry shade and this shade, shade. that's about it. I don't know what I want to do because this palette's so nice to have. Like, it is so, so nice to have in your collection. If you like you need any shade to start with, this palette has it. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. I have this palette that I just got not too long ago. I'm going to keep this one. Because I was really excited to get this one. And it was a lot cheaper than the first one, that's for sure. So I'm going to keep this one. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go into my sleep palettes. I have three. I actually have another one somewhere, but it's really tiny. And I'm going to get rid of that other little one that I have. But I'm going to keep, I don't know if I'm going to keep any of these. Because my mom got me like this for Christmas. And it came in this really cute packaging. Like I can't even show it because how big it is. But it's like a thing that opens up and you put all three of them in here. It's really, really cute. It's just so big. I can't even show you guys. But yeah. This is the Vintage Romance. Oh, good. This is, yeah, the Vintage Romance. Um, I don't know if I want to keep this because it is a purple palette. And I know I want to get into purple palettes more. I don't know. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to declutter this too. I don't need these palettes. These aren't that great to me either. This is the Gleaming in Gold palette. Uh, yeah, it's going. These things are so annoying. <laughs> these are in all my palettes I don't really touch. But yeah, that's going to go. And then this is the When the Sun Goes Down. This is the one I have in the little version. Like the tiny, tiny one. And I love this shade right here, but I'm not going to keep a palette for that one shade. So that's going to go too. I have this Becca palette. This is the Ocean Jewels. I am obsessed with this palette. This is going nowhere, especially because I don't know if you can get this anymore because it was limited edition. And I love this. I love this shade. I love this shade. I love this shade. I, love, I can just tell I like them all. I'm keeping this one. I have a tiny little, not, this should have been in my smaller palettes, but I just found it. My Natasha Denona palette. I was so disappointed in this because... It was, I, this is like for me to start, to see if I like her shades or not, or to see if I like her palettes or not. And this was not the palette to start with, that's for sure, because this palette was not that great. It was good. These two matte shades were good, but I'm not going to keep a palette for two of the matte shades I have in every single palette. And I tried, like I dug into these shades to make them work. And I, I don't know what I want to do with this because it was expensive and I got it for Christmas last year. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to it. This is the mini star palette, by the way. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to put it in the main palette, I mean. This is my one and only Marc Jacobs palette. I got this from TJ Maxx for like $20 a year or two ago. And I don't want to get rid of it. And just because it's the only one I have. And I don't know because I only used it when I used it. I only used it for this shade. And like that's I don't know what to do with this. Because it's such a like, I don't like this color story at all. I, this is not my type of color story. I think I'm just gonna and look I just I just hit it. Okay, I'm terrible. I'm gonna declare this. And I saw the like little like sleeve that it came in over that way. That's gonna go though. Again, I'm gonna just get rid of that one palette I had. These two I actually just got. I actually just got them on Poshmark. They just came in yesterday, like last night. So I'm very excited. I got them because I really want like I, I actually ordered four more of these two. And I had now I'm gonna have basically all of them. I when I see people decluttering these, I get kind of upset because, like, it's their thing. Do their own thing. But I don't know how people can get rid of palettes that, don't, aren't, that aren't made anymore. And they work so good. This shade that everyone talks about, that's so good. They are not lying. It is such a good shade for this, for, like, this, like, cheap of a palette. And I got both of these for, let me see, $6, I want to say. And, like, 
so I am not complaining about having these two. I'm going to keep these for a long time, and I can't wait for my other four to come in. I am so excited. <clears throat> my next palette is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I don't want to get rid of this because it's, like, so pretty. Like, look at the packaging. That's, like, the only reason I feel like I'd keep this, but I don't know what to do because if I had the other one, I'd keep it. But it gets too dark for me again right here. Like, well, this shade, honestly, like, this shade I will never use. And, like, I use these to set my lid. And that's about the only reason I pull this palette out for is to set my lid. But I love this cleavage shade. But I have this in so many palettes. I don't know what to do. It's going to go in baby pile as well. I don't know what to do with some of these palettes. I really don't. This palette is garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. It is not good at all. You don't pick up any pigment. Like, like I can't even show you guys. It's too zoomed in. But this palette's really bad. It's a Profusion Posh palette. Got it at five below. That can go. That run. <laughs> this is the only Becca palette I have. Let me zoom y'all back out. This is the only Becca. It's the Volcano Goddess. Right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I was disappointed because I really wanted this palette to work. Uh, and it does. Like, these three shades work. But that's it. These, I, I, this shade, did, I don't know. If, did this shade work? I can't, I can't even remember. That's how long it's been. Yeah, look at that. You can even see it. That shade's really pretty, too. Let me see if I can, like, show you. There you go. Like, look how pretty that diamond dust shade is. And I wanted it to work so bad and it doesn't. I don't know what to do with this palette either. Another maybe pile. We'll go through those at the end if I remember because I didn't remember last time. And I still have them sitting over there and I will go through those two, the maybe ones down there that way it was on the last video. This palette I'm gonna get rid of. Oh jeez. This is the medium skin tone 200, the Alme, Alme, Alme? I forgot to say this name. That's, that's terrible, but I forgot to say this. I actually gave it to my best friend's brother. He's really into makeup and I actually gave it to him, but I found it in the back of her car one day, so I took it back. Uh, I'm going to just give this to him again or just throw it away. Because it's really old. And I got it from TJ Maxx on sale for $3. And I have not touched it. And that's why the brushes are missing because he did have it. But that's going to go back to him. I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, I am so sad they don't make Hush anymore. I don't have Hush anymore. Because this palette I got on there literally like a week before the place closed down. Or was deleted. I still have the app too. But you can't get on it anymore. Um, I keep the app just in case because I really want to come back. This palette is really pretty. I've used this. I love this blue jean shade, like the Abyss shade. It's so pretty. Everything in here is pretty. I'm sorry I moved too much when I showed all these palettes. That's why I need to set them down. But yeah, this this palette is so pretty. Um, I'm not going to get rid of it, but if I find another palette like this, I probably will just because it's good. Like, don't get me wrong. It's good. But this shade was so dusty and it sucked because... I don't know. I really got this palette for the blues and the greens. And that's not, like, I don't know. It's not a big deal. I'm going to keep this for now, like I said. And if I find another palette like this, I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, my next palette. Let's see. This is the other one I was talking about in my other video. If you remember me talking about the Essence my Must Have, like, Essential Dot, the one you can make. This is the one I don't care for. I love this shade. It's a blush. This is a blush right here, and I love that. So I'd keep that one. Which is probably what I'm going to do is keep that pink and get rid of the rest of these. Because you can see, as you can see again, like these shades just kind of, the silver just kind of disappears. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to, I think this is a highlight right here too. And I don't need that shade. I'm going to get rid of this whole thing besides that pink shade. And get rid of the white and either one and put that one in there. So that's, that's going to go. Uh, here's more Makeup Revolution palettes actually. Right in front of my face. Uh, these, I don't know. This is the Pro Looks palette. This is in Big Love. I got this on stuff like $8 at Ulta. Uh, not really my thing. I'm going to get rid of this one. And I have the Iconic Smoky, which I don't know why I have so many freaking Smoky palettes. If you watch my other video, you know how many I have. I have so many. I'm going to get rid of that one too. Uh, let's see. Here's some Profusion palettes. Let me grab these. Sorry, I have a lot of palettes over here. Okay. Here's some Profusion palettes. Let's go through these. This is the Nude Eyes. I got this at TJ Maxx, I think. I'm not 100%. Oh, there goes the brush. Um, this is really pretty. I actually really like... Let me grab the brush. Okay. I actually really like this. It's just, I don't use... These shades are too light for me now. Like, it, it's sometimes it's too dark, sometimes it's too light. I'm going to get rid of this one. It is pretty, but I don't really wear nude. I wear, like, ready maroony shades. Like this palette, the Amber Eyes. This is what I wear. This shade here and down, I love. Well, these two are kind of too dark, but I love this. I'm keeping this one. I just got this one not too long ago as well. I have the Chestnut Eyes, which is so pretty. I love that too. I'm definitely keeping that one. 
I have the glitter and glam, which I got this from TJ Maxx for like a dollar on the clearance section. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And I have the prism eyes, which I got last Christmas. Oh God. And this is so pretty. Like, look at that black sparkle in there. This is so pretty. I'm gonna keep this one too. And it's kind of colorful, so that's gonna stay. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go with these NYX palettes right here. I have four of these little NYX palettes. The first one is the Golden Hour. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'll never really use that. Uh, I have the another smoky one, the Gloomy Days. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm not gonna keep many smoky palettes. I think I kept one last video. I had like eight. This is the Surreal My Heart. I'm gonna keep this for the yellow and blue and like these shades right here and, and the gray right there even. If I don't use it next to color, that'll go. And then I have, this one's gonna stay too. Then I have the Art Throb. Definitely keeping this one. I like a lot more shades in this one than I do in this one. So I'm gonna keep that one. This is the Bomb Voyage palette by The Bomb. Why do I keep everything? This was another, like one of my first palettes. I got it from Kohl's. I'll show you the bottom part first. Lipsticks, eh, who cares? This is really pretty and I really wanna keep this just for those, like, just for this part. Cause I don't know if I'll use these eyeshadows. I love that black. Like that's so pretty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this though. I know I don't need this. I know I haven't used it. I've had it for so long. That's gonna go. I have this pixie palette. Um, this is the mixed metals. I got this when I first got into makeup too, and I still have not used it. So that's gonna go. And that like maroon shade right here is starting to hit hard pan. As you can see, I'm gonna get rid of this one too. Pixie's so expensive. That's my only Pixie palette. That's why. Here's another Profusion palette. I got this at Dirt Cheap. And I said this in my last video. It's like a Goodwill if you don't know what it is. And this is, let me see what I mean. This doesn't even have a name. It's just, but it's so pretty. The quality on this palette is insane. And I got it for so cheap. I don't have anywhere else to swatch it, do I? Yes, I do. I'll show you this at, like, attitude shade on my tattoo. Like, there's, it's insane for the price I paid for this palette, which is very, very cheap. So that's going nowhere. I have this Claire's palette. And hear me out, I kept this palette, or I bought this palette for the packaging, and it was on sale. I got it for super, super, super cheap. Like I didn't pay $14.50. It was maybe like $4, because I got like a deal, like buy so many things, you know, it was like a thing I did, and I got it for super cheap, so I decided to get this for the palette. I leave this on my vanity, because I'm obsessed with the packaging. But this is what it looks like. It obviously doesn't work that great. I mean, I'm sure you all know it doesn't work good, but the packaging on this thing is amazing. So that's why I keep it. I'm still gonna keep it. Doesn't change how I feel about it just because it's not that great. I love that. This palette, though, on the other hand, it's terrible. This is like the other one I showed you in my other video, but a newer like, version of it. I don't know if I remember the other one I showed you. This palette's not that good. Um, I got it for Christmas. <laughs> I got a lot of palettes for Christmas. Uh, underneath it is some like, like this, this looks pretty on camera. Like, I'm looking at it right now on camera. Nope, oh, there we go. And it is very pretty, but. I'm not gonna keep it just because the quality on the, the shadows weren't good. And this is what it's about is the shadows and they weren't good. So I'm gonna get rid of that. It's a very heavy palette too. And then I have this really cute, I love my sticker. I don't remember where I got that sticker, but it's so cute. I got this, this is an Ulta Beauty Z palette. I'm not gonna get rid of this even if I don't put anything in here because this was like free. I, I use my points. I really, really like this too. And it's just really cute to have if I ever get single shadows. Um, let's see, now I'm gonna do some Morphe which I have a lot, so. But I'm gonna do my, this is my Jaclyn Hill vault. I have all four of them. I didn't get the like vault like thing that you could buy. I actually bought them all separately because I got the Armed and Gorgeous last second. I got these three first and then I ordered the Armed and Gorgeous last. And I got one of the bad batches, <clears throat> unfortunately, but I'm not gonna get rid of these because I really do love Jaclyn. I'm gonna support her forever. She goes through so much and yet she's still like, she has such a great attitude. You know, I feel bad for everything she's been through and I love her, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm going to keep this collection. This is the Ring the Alarm. I'm sure you've seen these thousands of times, but I'm still going to show you. I'm keeping all of these. I'm just going to not even really talk about them. I'm just going to show you and put them away. Let me tell you what they are. This is the, that was the Bling Boss. I'm not even telling you guys. I'm just opening and showing them. This is the, what was it? Dark Magic. So pretty. And then the last but not least, the one that took forever to get here, the Armed and Gorgeous, which is going nowhere. All right, so yes, I'm keeping all four of those. Those will never leave my side. I love Jacqueline staying forever. I have this palette. I'm just gonna go and get through this because I did the Kim palette in the other video, um, I think. This is the, it doesn't say, but this is our Christmas palette that just came out. I have used this already a lot. I love the, like you can, I don't know if you can tell, but I've used that black shade quite a bit for my brows. I love this, that Jack Frost shade. Huh. 
so pretty this whole thing is just gorgeous i'm never getting rid of that either i have the packaging for that too somewhere i'm supposed to be doing morphe and <laughs> i got off track okay i'm gonna go back to morphe my first one is the 35t which when y'all see this don't be scared <laughs> look at it it's terrible i decluttered or not decluttered i actually did a thing where i took out this whole like palette and bought magnets and put them down and then magnet i put magnets on the bottom and kept the ones i liked out of the taupe palette and the purple palette so that's that one that's gonna go <coughs> i have i need to drink some water i have the 35p which is what i just said i look at this i put eggs like i tried to get out this shade and i broke it this is gonna go in the trash too i'm so sad i actually broke those palettes i really shouldn't have this is my 35f the fall like i think it's frost something falling to frost or something like that I've had this for a long time i have still the plastic for some reason i haven't used this as you can see i don't want to get rid of it sorry i had a phone call <laughs> the video messed up but this is a palette i was on i'm not gonna get rid of this i made up my mind keeping it um let's see more morphe i have the 35 m the boss mood going nowhere i actually tape my if y'all want to know where i keep my sheets for the names i actually tape them to the top right here uh, so I can see the names and you know that's it. it was just an idea I came up with a long time ago and I've been doing it on all my palettes but I'm gonna keep this forever too this is, this is me I love this I love greens maroons browns like everything this is so pretty this is one of my favorite Morphe palettes I have a lot of favorites but this is one of them uh, my next one is the 35V the stunning vibes I don't really care for this one as much as the other one but I love this I love this purple. I love how they just added a random purple in this. This is so cute. I'm definitely gonna keep this one too. These are my newer ones because they're not used as much. I went on like a Morphe shopping spree one day. I bought like 80 of them. This is the hot spot. I wasn't even gonna get this at first, and I'm so happy I did. This is like the summer palette they came out with. Like the names are so cute. Like there's there's like outfit change, diving board, beach fry. It's so cute. I love that. I'm gonna keep this one. My next one is the 35O, the Natural Glow. Of course, I have this one, but I have the newer packaging because I got this kind of late. Like, I got into it later. This was everyone's two favorite shades, and they are mine, too. They're so soft to touch. So pretty in the inner corner. I love that just for those two shades. I'm going to keep this for a little bit longer until I decide that I really don't need this palette, which may never happen. I have the 3502, which is the reason I fell into fell in love with Morphe. I don't even know if you can tell, but I used to use this shade for like a bronzer and it worked. That's the reason why it looks like this all over the pan. I dug my nail into this shade a long time ago. This shade already hit hard pan because I used the crap out of it. These two, this is about to hit pan. I love this palette a lot. Besides, I don't really care for these two rows, but these three, if this was just like this type of palette, oh my goodness, I take it everywhere. These are just so big. That's why I don't take them anywhere. My next Morphe palette is obviously the girl I support and always will, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I have not used this though, really, honestly, because I was so upset when I first got this palette. This shade hit pan, so I had to scrape it, as you can tell. This shade didn't really get work with me, and I haven't used those two, so I'm not going to like completely shut down this palette. But like I said, I'm not going to get rid of any of her stuff because I am going to support her for as long as she's a YouTuber. So I'm going to keep this too. And then I think this is my last jeez my last morphe palette that i actually just got to the 3503 i had to get the three like that's why i have all the other ones so this is that one and just look at this this row is what probably made everyone fall in love with this palette but i love this i love this row this row this row this, i love everything i'm gonna keep this one too my next palette is this Too faced life's a festival palette i got this a couple years ago Still haven't used it. I know I don't use I don't use my palettes that often because I have so many and I keep the ones I use every day on my vanity. The ones on my vanity are the ones that get used too much, and that's the problem. I don't switch them out enough. So I am gonna keep this though because you can't get this anymore, and I love this packaging. I love the squishiness feel of it. So that's almost also gonna stay in my collection. This I got from TJ Maxx a couple years ago, like a year ago. This is the artistic palette. I don't like this at all. Uh they didn't do a good job with this palette. It's not good. I'm just trash honestly i don't want this anymore oh uh, let's see i have two models owned like bigger palettes i have a little one that i showed you on my last video this one is the uh color chrome and i got this to want to like to try out some like glittery like they're like like i don't know how to explain the feel of them but they're like paint i don't really like that especially because if it's like something gets in these they're ruined 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna put this in my baby. I don't want the fingerprints on that thing. I have the Barely There too, and they are not lying about these names. I tried this palette not too long ago, and the shades are barely there. You can't even see them unless you like seriously like just keep building, building it for like hours. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I have this Dominique Cosmetics, and I'm gonna talk crap for a minute, but I really wanna I really wanna like her brand. But this palette was terrible for me. I could not get these glittery shades in here to work for me. And when everyone says they love them, I'm like, I want to love them, but I don't. I don't love this palette. And it's because I can't get these glittery shades to work. But these three mattes are amazing. It's just the glittery shades in here. Well, this is a matte too. But I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't want to get rid of this until I try out our other. And if our other, like, if our, like, I want the Celestial palette. I think I'm saying that right. I want the little one so bad. If that one works, I'm going to give her brand another chance. But this this is what made me not like her. That's why I only have one of hers. I'm still going to keep it, though. I really just don't want to get rid of it because it's the only one I have. And I want to I wanna love her. I do. Because her palettes are so pretty. So I'm going to... Ow. I'm going to keep that one. I just scratched myself on the drawer. Oh, y'all can see my palettes over there. So, yeah. Next, uh, I don't want to get into Juvia's Place or Anastasia because I have so many of them. That's why I'm trying to avoid them until the very end. I don't know if I showed this in my other video, so I'm going to show it right now. This is a Take Me Back to Brazil. Going nowhere, as you probably could guess. I'm obsessed with this palette. I love color. I don't have that much color, but I love it. So I'm going to keep this too until I get too much colorful palettes that I have to get rid of one. This will be the one I probably get rid of because I've had it for so long. I'm going to keep that one. Oh, I'll just hit my light. Uh, let's see. I have these three. These are my W7 palettes. Uh, I got these all at TJ Maxx for like $4.99, $5.99. I think they're all the same price. I actually want to check. Yeah. And I want to pick up more of these because these are all dupes for a palette. All of these are. And this is what I was talking about. The other palettes over there, I don't know if I'm going to dig for it. The one I was going to tell you about, the subculture. This is Life's a Peach. This is Dusk Till Dawn. And this is On the Rocks. And this is the one that looks like the subculture palette. And I absolutely love this. I think these work so good. Like, this works better than the subculture palette. So I'm going to keep that one. This is a dupe for, I think, a Huda palette? I don't I don't know, but I love love this side. I'm going to keep this one. And this is a dupe for, I think, the an, a Kylie palette, I think. I'm not sure about these other two. But I'm going to keep all three of these just because they're so cheap and they work. They're very good. So I'm going to keep those. Oh, Lord, all my stuff's falling over there now. Hold on, guys. I'm going to move this stuff. Okay. And then my next palette is more, this is more, this is Revolution. There are two Revolution palettes. You can see them. I'm not going to open these just because you can see them. I'm going to get rid of them. This is the, I'll show you the name. So it's the Redemption, the Unicorns Are Real and the, oh, Romantic Smoky. I'm going to get rid of those too. I have this palette my mom gave me from Profusion. It's the Pink Nudes. So pretty. Keeping this because it's like my type of palette. I, I love this. Keeping that forever. I have this NYX palette. This is kind of long. This is the Squad Trips. Wait. <laughs> the Sugar Trip. Okay, I, cannot, I can't read. I'm, I'm freaking dying over here. This is so pretty. I love this. I haven't used it, but I love the color story. It's another colorful palette. I realized I didn't have. I'm going to keep this one. Okay, I'm going to go on my Too Faced now. I don't have that many Too Faced, so, but it's crazy because for a Too Faced lover, I don't have that many. This palette I got from TJ Maxx and it's broke. Um, the top part comes off. So I kind of just gave up on this palette. I don't even want to use it because it's so broken. I got When I got it, it was broke. So I haven't used it because it's just, I don't want to break it anymore. So, But it, I'm keeping these forever because I love these little chocolate palettes. I'm thinking about just going on Too Faced and buying another one of these just because I can't stand this being broken. I don't even want to use it. And then I have the Semi Sweet, which I got at TJ Maxx. Haven't used this either. I swatched these though, and if I'm being honest, the quality wasn't that great when I swatched them. So that's what made me not use it yet, but I will try it before I get rid of it. I have the, this is my very first Too Faced palette. It made me love Too Faced. This palette was so good, the chocolate gold. So, so, so good. And if you have want to try a Too Faced palette, this is the one I recommend trying first. And you'll fall in love with these shades. These are so good. I'm definitely keeping that forever. I have, and I have the Sweet Peach, which is another reason I fell in love with Too Faced. I used the crap out of that, uh, I can't read it. Peaches and cream. I love that. I'm keeping that forever. And uh, let's see. I have another Makeup Revolution palette. I told you I will find more of these in my collection. This is a Christmas palette. This is the VIP. Uh, 
getting rid of for a lot of reasons. One, it's kind of big. Don't really like these big Micro Revolution mats. Two, I would only use these two rows and I'm not going to keep it for that. And three, it's just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's my go to. I have this Urban Decay palette. This is Born to Run. I am obsessed with the packaging. That's why I keep this out. And I've used the crap out of that Ignite shade because I love shades like that, honestly. I love this row right here. It's so pretty. I'm going to keep this too. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to get rid of this palette. Let's go ahead and show it. This is the Elf, the Peacock, or Posh Peacock palette. Uh, I didn't really like this. The quality was not good at all. But the color story is so pretty. It just doesn't work for me. So that's going to go. I'm going to go ahead and get this palette out of the way because it's so big. I got this from Hush also. This is, a nat this is the Ocalon, the natural to matte metal palette. I can't even read. Um, this is a dupe for the metal matte palette from Kat Von D. I love, I'm not going to get rid of this. Um, uh, one reason is because Hush isn't a thing anymore. Two is because I never got this from Kat Von D and I refused to pay like $70 for it on Poshmark. And three is because I really like these colors. They work very good. So I'm going to keep this. Uh, let's see, I'm almost done, maybe not. I don't know, I can't tell. I don't have too, too many left, but there are still quite a few over here. This is the Foil Eyes 2. Sorry, my eyes are watering, I can't really see right now. I'm going to keep, what? I'm going to get rid of this palette because the other one, I have the Foil Eyes 1 to the first one over here, and the colors are breaking in them because I throw these things everywhere apparently, which I don't. I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. I, want to I think I'm actually going to keep the one that's breaking. Because this one's so much prettier. Like, look at the, just look at this one. This one's so much prettier because the yellows. But this is the shade that's cracking. And it sucks. But I'm going to keep this one and get rid of this one. Oh. My next palette is this Profusion palette. They don't have names. This is, the, this is like one of the other ones I showed you in the other palette thing too. This one needs to go in my small drawer too. I'm going to get rid of this one. Because the other one's the one I like more. Then I have the Ocalon, uh, the matte, the, I don't know how to say that name, honestly. Salor, I don't know how to say that. This is so pretty. This is a dupe for the Lime Crime palette. Look at the black. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely keeping this. This this works really, really good. Every single shade in here does. I have the this huge Smashbox palette I got from TJ Maxx. I don't remember how much it was, but I know I paid about $30 for this at TJ Maxx. It was pretty expensive. And I'm just going to show you the eyeshadow part, but it does have all of this. This is the part where, this is the thing that I would be keeping, all of this, but this is the palette in here, and this is really pretty, especially this peachy shade, but I don't ever reach for this because I, when I got it, it was broken, and it was messy, and I didn't know it until I bought it, and that's why I'm pulling this out because it was so broken, but I think I'm going to hold on to this because this palette's really cool, and it, not only does that though, but look, see this shade just popped out because it's broken, There's a, the black in here is broken to pieces, that's why I don't ever pull this out. But I am going to keep this palette. This is the Masterclass palette. This is so heavy. I'm going to keep my dresser. Here's the other mini palette from... Oh, wait. I lied. This is actually a blush palette. It's the Flame. And I kept it because look at these freaking colors, you guys. These colors are so pretty. And I love colors like this. So I'm going to keep this as an eyeshadow palette. I'm still going to keep it. It's actually a blush palette, though. But it was way too dark for me. But I'm going to keep that one. I have this Tarte Leave Your Mark palette. I'm going to declutter this. I got this from a friend, so I haven't used it. I like this highlight right here, but that's about it. So that's going to go. I have, another, I have this ColourPop palette. This is the Take Me Home. This is so pretty. I got this from Ulta for... Okay. I got this from Ulta for like $6. I think 12 No. Yeah. I can't remember, but I'm going to keep this because I love this color story. So that's definitely going to stay. I have this um, Kathleen Lights, the Dream Street palette. Definitely not going anywhere. I love this color story so much. Definitely keeping that. I have this Yes Please palette, which was my baby when I first got this. I use this every single day. That red shade, I think it's cake batter. No, butter cake. Close enough. <laughs> I've used the crap out of that red shade. I love it. I love reds. Like I said, I love, they just look good on my skin tone. I'm definitely keeping this. Running out of room to put stuff. I have the Chasing Rainbows by ColourPop. And I love this color story as well. I like the blurred lines. You know, I'm into these little silvery gold white shades. I love them. So that's going to stay. Uh, this is a, I got this off Hush also. This is a City Color Intense Shine, another color palette I did not know as I had. I'm going to get rid of this, though, because this has seen its time. It, it's really good. It's a really, really good palette, but I don't need it anymore. 
I have these two. I thought I had another one, but I'm not sure where it is. I have the mats and the royal royals. Ooh, you can't even talk. I'm gonna keep the matte one though because it is nice to have an all matte palette. And like, if I want to just take this one on a trip and like a little shimmery shade, I can for the inner corner. So I'm gonna keep this one. I have the royals, which I don't know if I want to keep this. When I got this, I was very excited to have it because the color story for one and the pigment is the pigmentation is really good. Well, okay, now that I of course want to tell you all something, it's not true. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I actually, my mom actually just got me this for Black Friday. Um, this is the Pure Out of the Blue palette. And the reason why it's so big is because it actually lights up. And I love that. Like, it, like a van, it looks better when the light's off. Here, I'll turn the light off real quick to show you guys. Like, it lights up. It's so cute. It's a really, really good palette. I am going to, the pa the plastic still on, well, I should just take it off. I am going to keep this though because my mom just got it for me. And I want to give it a try before I get rid of it. I probably won't use this glittery shade, but besides that, this palette's really pretty. I don't know why I keep these plastic things, but I'm going to. So I'm going to keep that one. I have this, another another BH cover. This is the Desert Oasis palette. I'm going to keep this for sure. This is a really, really, really good palette. Definitely staying. I'm going to start speeding up some more too because this video has been very long and I'm ready to be done doing this. My next palette is the <clears throat> um, Blush Neutrals palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to get rid of this. Don't see myself ever using this. Sorry, I thought I heard something. My next palette is the Profusion Ultra Cool Palette. I got this for Christmas last year also. Definitely gonna keep this one. I love this, like, cool toned. And it's like the only cool tone palette I have. I'm not gonna open this one because you can see the colors. I know it's gonna be a glare, but this is the one I just got at TJ Maxx for $6.99. I'm gonna keep this. This is the Defiant palette from Makeup Relish. It's a newer one. It's the pro, the big ones. And I really like this, so I'm gonna keep this until I use it. Um, this is from Five Below. This is the Rose Gold Nudes. If this was a good palette, I'd keep it, but it's not. The shimmers are decent, because all shimmers are decent in most palettes. I'm gonna keep reverse. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna have room to put these palettes. It's so bad. Hold on. I have the Essence, the Counting Hearts. I got this last Christmas too. I'm gonna declutter this. It's not that it's bad, it's just, it's round. And I don't really like round palettes. So that can go. Um, I have the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. I can't get it out of its sleeve. Uh, definitely keeping this. Cause one, I, I love like signs, like knowing people's signs and you know, things. And this is so good. This Aquarius shade, oh yeah. It is, these are so good for the price, so I'm definitely keeping this one. My next palette is another BH Cosmetics palette. This is the Color Second uh, second Edition. The, you know what, the color eyeshadow palette. And I just figured out this moves, you guys. Like, I did not know it moved. I was like, what? And now, like, this stinks. <laughs> I can, it smells like a pool. I can smell it. I'm gonna get rid of this because how old it is, but I do have this colorful palette. I forget all these palettes I have. I'm gonna get rid of this one though because it's old and it stinks and I don't want to smell my palette like that. Um, my next one is this big boy. This is this 100 eyeshadow palette thing from e.l.f. I got for Christmas also a couple years ago. Not getting rid of this. I've actually used the crap out of this shade because it was so good for the like for the like, lid and putting a dark shade on the edge or the inner corner. Sorry, I can't think right now. But I really love this. I'm gonna keep this just, I love having this huge palette in my collection. It's so big. I'm definitely keeping that forever. And another huge palette, which I don't even know if this will fit in a frame, is my Morphe 39A, the Dare to Create. I got this when it came out the second time. It hints to why the palette, like, packaging looks like this and not the printing version. This is my go-to palette also. I love everything about this palette. The only thing I don't like is this row of browns, because, like, it's pretty much all the same. Like, you don't need this many browns in a palette. But besides that, I love this. This is staying also. And it's Morphe, so you should have known it was never going anywhere. Now this was the best found, best find I ever found at TJ Maxx in my life. This palette was $50 at TJ Maxx, but it was so worth it. It's the Mac and Jeremy Scott palette. And I'm so happy I have this in my collection. I This is never going anywhere. I am very, very happy to have this. I love music. Uh, hints to why I have a tattoo with the music. No, no, I love music. I love singing. I love everything. So I'm definitely keeping this palette forever. I would have kept the box for this palette, but it was ripped to pieces when I got it. So 
All right, time for the ABH palettes. I can't believe I'm actually getting into them now. I have pretty much all of them. I have all of them, but like two, I want to say. I'm not going to get the Alyssa Edwards one just because that color story doesn't read. Like, I don't know. I want the Jackie Ina one, though. 100% want that one. This is my new baby. I love this palette. These three shades on the lid are so pretty. Look at them in the camera. Like, look at that. Like, that is just looks so good. Definitely keeping the Carly Bible palette going absolutely nowhere. I have the Riviera palette. Haven't used this one yet. It's still in the pa plastic because I haven't used it. I like to keep the plastic on palettes I haven't used yet. Um, I'm going to keep this one, though. I don't know if I really like this one as much, but I'm definitely keeping it for the collector in me. I have the infamous Subculture palette. I actually like this palette. Besides the two shades that don't work, I actually really, really like this color story and this palette. So I'm definitely keeping that. I have the Prism palette. I got this when it first came out like two years ago. I think it was two years ago. Don't quote me on that. I have no idea. I haven't used this one yet either. Or I have, but I've used a brown shade. And everyone knows browns are pretty good. So I'm still going to keep this. I guess I'm probably not going to get rid of any of these, just to be honest. I have the Modern Renaissance and my palette does not look like everybody else's. <laughs> it looks brand new because I have not used this one yet. Well, actually, I lied. I've used this shade. And that's because of the inner corner. That's the reason I used it. I'm keeping it, though, because I want to get into it like everybody else did. I have the Soft Lamb, which is my most used one, as you can see. I love every single shade in here. I like there's a black in here, but I don't mind because my eyebrows. But besides that, I wouldn't have cared to have a black. My next one is the Norvina palette, which I have not used. I don't know why, because every time I open this, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. I love this little quad right here. Definitely keeping this. And then my last one, until I get my other, my Jackie Ina palette, is the Sultry palette, which this is my second most used one, which is crazy because it's cool tone, but I love this palette. This Cyborg shade is the reason I like this palette so much, because it's a really nice silver, but it's not too overpowering, if you know what I mean. I love this palette. All right, now for my Juvia's Place palettes, which I have, I think, like 17 of them. I have all of them, but two of them. The Nomad and the the smaller one, the six pack. I can't remember the name of that one. But this is the Nubian 3. This is the Coral. Now these are going to cast a shadow. Hold on, guys. Sorry, I have so many palettes in the way. If I can see that, I just threw this over. But now this palette, this palette, though, is so pretty. I was so excited to get I've already used this shade. I want to use these grays right here before I decide if I like this palette or not. Because, of course, I'm going to like these shades. Like, those are my shades. But I'm, I like this. I like having this in my collection. That's going nowhere. I have the Saharan palette, which is pretty. I'm just going to say it's pretty because I'm going to probably keep all these, too. I have the... Actually, I use this as an eyeshadow palette. It is the blush palette. Volume 2, but I use it as an eyeshadow palette because these shades are too dark. But on the eyes... Oh my goodness, I used this shade and this shade on my lid and this shade and this shade. It was so pretty together. Like imagine this all on the lid and this in the inner corner. It is gorgeous. I love having that palette as an eyeshadow. This is the one I'd get rid of. I'm sure this is the one that everybody would get rid of. It's the Nubian. Blah. You open it and you're just like, blah. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I don't know. Just because I have so many neutral palettes and just because it's dubious, but I feel like I shouldn't keep it because of that. This is going to go in the maybe pile because I'm not sure about that. I have the Afrique, and this is another one to get rid of. My mom got me this for Christmas. I feel so bad. I just don't know what to do with this color story. It confuses me, but I love this to-go shade. And that's what it's called, to-go. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what I'm going to do with this palette yet. I have no idea. I'm going to hold on to it. I have the Saharan 2. I'm going to start zooming out because some of these palettes are getting bigger. This one, I used the crap out of that middle shade right there is gorgeous. This shade's gorgeous. This shade's gorgeous. I love this palette. That's definitely staying in my collection. I have the Deuce palette. Love the packaging. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Definitely keeping this. I was This was the one I was most excited for when I ordered. I had like my huge haul at this place. I ordered like seven palettes. This is the one I was excited for. Definitely keeping. I have the Zulu, which of course everyone knows about this palette. Keeping, not going nowhere. I have the Festival palette. This was a part of my huge haul. Most of these were. Love this ooey shade, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure how you say that. I love that shade, definitely keeping. I have the Warrior, this is another one I'd probably get rid of, but I'm not going to because I have all the Warriors, so I don't wanna get rid of it. Love that one. I have the Warrior too. This is so pretty to me. It's an all matte palette, but it's so pretty. Every color in here just speaks to me, well, except for like this shade, but I love this so much. I could use this and put it really pretty, like that like that really pretty shade I just showed you guys in the inner corner with that shade. It's just like my favorite. I'm like a person who likes to do a one eye look 
like an eye look with the inner corners. That's what I like to do because it's easier. Just got this literally like Black Friday. No, maybe the day after Black Friday. Haven't used it yet. I don't know because this one reminds me of the Zulu. Let me grab it. This one reminds me of the Zulu palette a lot. So that's why I don't know what to do. Because someone told me, like I was reading comments about this palette and I saw someone say they look the exact same and I was like, wow, they're almost due. Except they like trade out this shade for like a maroony shade. The green is a shimmer in this one. The blue is, well, these two right here are actually two blues. I think I'm just over like thinking about this, but this palette really did kind of remind me like, wow, this, these almost do look the same, but I'm going to keep them forever. Oh, this is another one of my babies. I love the color. Like, look at the color of this one. It just makes me so excited. This is the Tribe. Love this one to death. Definitely keeping this one. I've already used it a couple times. This shade I've used the heck out of. This little, because it's like a really good shade to have for the inner corner. I'm trying to show you where I can put these. Like, well, that's, that does not show. I'm swatching this the heck out of this one to show you all how good this shade is in the inner corner. It is so nice for a green look. I love that. I have the Masquerade Mini. This is another one I'd honestly get rid of. Not because it's not good, it's just, it confuses me how they did this, like, neutral to color. I like this. Like, if you're just someone who wants to try out both and you want a palette that has both. I don't know. What's new with this palette? I have used the crap out of this shade, the Calabas, Calablanca shade. <laughs> Casablanca shade. I have used the crap out of that one, but that's still boring. Like, of course I used the crap out of that one. This is going to go in the baby pile as well. I have the Magic Mini, which is another one I was excited for. I really like having this one. This one is kind of the same thing color but this is more cool tone and warm tone like palette together and I really like this having this in my collection so that looks insane and then the last one I used I used this on New Year's New Year's and I fell in love with this palette for using it it's the Nubian 2 I used these like I've used like I use this shade with the brown this shade with the brown it literally just switches up and now that I'm into like these inner corner shades I'm very happy I have this palette just for that shade too so I'm definitely keeping this one now I have Cara Beauty, which I don't know if any of you know what that is. Um, it's more of like an indie brand, I think. I, I think. I'm not sure. This is like, I got these at a convention. I have all of these palettes from the convention I went to. This is the I'm Just a Girl. This is so pretty for inner corner looks. This is all this, hold on guys. This is all this palette means to me is for inner, like look at this in the light. I love this even more in the light now. This palette's so good just for like a little bitty, like, inner corner look type day for me like I just don't see myself using this just for you know it, I don't know I love this I'm keeping that my mom picked it out for me too and I just fell in love with it right when I seen it this is the weekender palette from Cara Beauty this palette is huge and look how pretty the color story is I'm definitely keeping this I love this color story okay come on Natasha it's not your time anymore so I'm definitely keeping that one. I have the, this is my first one. I got this from the convention last year and all the other palettes I just showed you I got this year. This is the Desire 15. Oh, I open this palette and I get so excited every single time I open it. It's so good. Look at that shade. I just, that, that shade is amazing. This palette's so freaking good. I'm definitely keeping this palette. And these are like creamy shades. They're like cream to, to cream to powder. And they're so cool to me. I love that. And then my last one, I actually, have it used because I broke a shade in it. Oh, I'm not going to say I did. Um, I got home and a shade was broken. This is the Down to Earth palette by Car Beauty. And look how pretty this is. This just makes me so excited to have in my collection. And I love this. But this shade broke in the inner. I don't know if you can see that corner. And I was so sad that it broke because that's a really pretty shade. I wouldn't care if like this shade broke. But of course the prettiest one had to. I'm going to keep it though obviously. His I was upset why it broke. And I'm on my last like six palettes guys. We're almost done. This is the Beauty Creations. This is the Tease Me palette. This reminds me a lot of a Huda, Huda Beauty palette. Such a good palette. This Lush shade. These palettes. This palette's so 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 good. Like it's kind of crumbly but hits to why it's a roll of a palette. But I'm definitely keeping this palette. I have the Stitch though. This Lilo and Stitch palette. This is the Ohana eyeshadow palette. I got this from Hot Topic for like, yeah, $16.50. I haven't used it because I keep it for more like nostalgia reasons. Because Lilo and Stitch was my thing growing up. So this, and this palette's not good at all, but I can't get rid of it. It's so cute. I need I need the sticker over here, but this is so cute. Look at them on the beach. That's so cute to me. I'm not going to get rid of it yet. I can't. I love it. I love that show. This palette I got from Hush also. This is the Sweet 16 LA Colors. This palette's not bad. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually not bad. It was only like two dollars. It's really, really not bad. But I'm gonna get rid of it. I haven't got rid of a palette in a while. This is the Pastel Dream palette. I got this from Target for three dollars. 
And if it worked, I'd be so happy to have this, but I don't want to get rid of it just because I don't have any pastel palettes. I have like one. And it was a cheap like LA colors one. This is pretty cheap too. But I love these three shades right here. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep it. It's just it's not good. It's not, but I'm gonna keep it just for now. My last palette I have is the Eye Artistry palette. I got this from TJ Maxx for $4.99. It's another Nicole Miller palette. I have like three or four Nicole Miller palettes. I'm gonna keep this because look at this. Like look, it reminds me of the treasure palette from the Dose of Colors. I'm gonna keep this palette too. That is my last palette. Um now we can go through the maybes. I'm gonna go through these super quickly just so we can be done. I'm gonna grab my maybes from last declutter really quickly. And here they are. These are all my maybes right here. Let me zoom out. These are all my maybes right here. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna keep this one for sure. I made up my mind. I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep my Juvia's Place just until I really just can't stand having all these palettes. I'm gonna keep these two. I'm gonna get rid of this, the Uptown Chic. I know I told myself I, I wasn't going to because I love colors like this, but I'm just gonna get rid of it. There's no point in keeping it. I'm gonna get rid of this Chocolate Love Palette from Makeup Revolution. Never gonna use this, not my thing. That's gonna go. I'm gonna get rid of this uh, Lorac Boho Vince and Venice Beach Palette. Um, Tardis Pro, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you really quick. I'm gonna keep that one. Mono's own, the creamy one, paint like one, I'm gonna get rid of. Volcano God. Oh my God, this thing's falling. Hold on, guys. Okay. The Volcano Goddess, I'm definitely going to keep. Uh, just for a little bit longer. I can't get rid of it right now. Shanxo palette, I'm going to get rid of. Not, I'm, I just don't really. Eh, it's okay. Then I'm going to keep this little rock palette, the Desert Sunset. Definitely going to keep that one. And then the hardest, too. Because my mom got me this for Christmas, and it's a purple palette that I need to get into. And this is like, they don't make this packaging anymore. Why is Carly Bible getting all up in our business? I don't know what to do. I think I am going to keep that one. And I think I'm going to keep this one for a little bit longer, you guys. I promise I'll get rid of it. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this one. I know it's not going to work that great either. I'm going to get rid of this one and keep this one. All right. So that's the end of my palettes. I got rid of so many palettes. I'll lift this up so you can see. Okay, those are just ones I keep. I got rid of all those palettes. Plus these on the ground right here. Not going to review them. Those back there. I got rid of so many palettes. I'm very excited to do that. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. I will do more videos. I will think of more ideas. I'll think. Uh, give me ideas if you want to in the comments. There's. I, this is a variety show, a channel. I'm not just gonna do makeup. I'm not just gonna do declutters. I can show you all my beauty room slash office room if you want me to. Just give me ideas. Thanks, guys.